Hello everyone, this is your host Toast and welcome to the Toast channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much friend, I appreciate you. Today we're talking about a couple of OG items that I've ordered off of Taobao. Um, so I ordered these items directly from Immortal Thorn and Orca Date Wars and like another shop that I will find out as I open this package. I'm investing more so in my OG items because my OG wardrobe so far is just like two outfits from Alice and the Pirates, two sets from Alice and the Pirates, and like one Taobao set. Um, but I'm looking to expand. We're gonna get into this OG stuff. If you're unfamiliar with OG, it's the brother fashion to Lolita fashion or EGL fashion. Um, it is inspired by historical menswear, but of course anyone can wear it. If you want to know more about it, check out my OG fashion video. There was a spooky tarot card meet and I could not decide what to wear. So at the last minute, I'm like, I am going to unbox something. Maybe one of my OG coordinates will come to me and will be good for the tarot meet today. If you hear my voice crack throughout this, like a schoolboy trying to sing My Chemical Romance, it's because I was trying to talk at the Kaiju Core event yesterday and everything was so loud. So my voice is destroyed. So just a little heads up. Here is the bag from Immortal Thorn. Look at this beautiful baby. You don't always get a bag like you do with brand orders. So with Taobao orders, you know, it can kind of vary the packaging and how it appears. Whenever I order directly from Taobao World, it is the most beaten up box. Looks like it's been through a war zone and back. But thankfully, everything here looks like it came through okay. Um, don't, ordering figures direct from there was horrific. Oh my goodness. Like they, the box was all beaten up and all the pieces were just like everywhere. But thankfully it was like a budget figure so I wasn't too upset, but still. This is the Immortal Thorn booklet that we will go over at the end. I cannot believe that they packaged this with all of their items today. So I'm like, it really builds the hype. So stay tuned for this one. The first item is this Orca Day, what? Oh wait. The first item is the Arca et Auras um, set, so I got this in extra large. So this is a really cool jacket. This collar has a sparkly design texture oh there's a really a lot of really cool details there's this like a chain i guess extra chain in case one of your chains breaks so that's really nice they have that in here and what is this so here's the button and tag Ooh, i love capes okay emblem embroidery mm. I love embroidered items in Lolita too like you don't see it that often um, but all my embroidered items I just I feel like it has a certain charm to them all right because of the angle you can't see too much of this so I will do a little spin demonstration of it for you later, but it feels really great. It has a very nice, um, the lining is quite soft and cool, so it doesn't feel like you're overheating in this cape or anything. I'm sure that might vary if I'm doing something way more active. Honk to you, sir. The anti-theft seal really confuses me. I'm wondering what stores will actually like stock this for people to see in person or like because I'm like whatever store carries this I'm like I, I want to go. I thought this was kind of like an online only thing so I'm I don't know I, I like I'm interested though so I'm confused yet interested by the anti-theft seal. seal. So it comes with a very cute Maybe I should stop until I stop honking. 
It comes with a very cute bow here that I've tied. And then there's also extra... It comes with a very cute bow that I've tied here. And it also has additional clips on the underside. So these can be connected if you don't want to um, connect using the bow. Or Oh wait, okay, so there's there's snaps like all the way down so you can have this as a closed cape you know or keep it open and have it free so yes love capes love cloaks i feel like this will come in handy so you could probably coordinate with coordinate this with a you know military lolita or punk uh gothic lolita um or og so i like this i like this versatility this is going to add something an interesting flair to what we can do here. Next up, I guess we'll unbox a couple of unrelated items. So I also had some cat tea party. I love getting their little accessories because they're very affordable and very cute. These are little cloud rings. They're very precious. You can see the little glitter. So surprise, um, sweet Lolita item in, in with this unboxing. But I love it. It's, um, actually, I'll put the price here if I feel like doing that. Um, yeah, so Cat Tea Party. Moving on with some more OG related items, I've got a couple of accessories. So, oh, let me show you the little guy. Ah, so, uh, happily. What a good surprise that they have this in its cute little box as well. It's adorable. So, KC Boomer fans. I don't know if that's what it was. When I bought this, I remember, I thought the, the story was in all Chinese, so I don't know if that's actually what it is or, or what, but uh, okay. Special gift. Part, special gift, small design from my heart for you. Oh dang, the amount of detail and everything on these rings are very interesting. Yes, every OG needs a bunch of obnoxiously, like, just obnoxiously many rings to wear on, like, every single finger. I love that, uh, aesthetic. These, yeah, these OG rings are both silver. It seems like there's way more OG jewelry and accessories and buttons that come in silver than gold. Or maybe that's just my perception. Let me, let me know what you think. P.S. de Resistance, the items from Immortal Thorn. As I was unboxing it, my confused look is because of this um, lace. I need, I'm curious what it goes to, so we'll see as I open it. But look at this little baggie with the roses on it, very cute. Here is a belt. I love, I don't know why I love this little belt so much. It's kind of like a cummerbund looking, like maybe it reminds me of my time in orchestra when all the guys had to wear cummerbunds. I thought that was kind of adorable. I'm just like, ah, oh, cummerbund, you know? But it's almost, you know, like a low corset type of dealio. So this could be really cool to accentuate. Like maybe if you have a blouse that you want to show off and don't want to completely hide it with a vest, you know, you could just have this cute little, you know, dealio and be like, ooh, look at my accessory. That still can show off a lot of your the upper part of your coordinate. So lovely. Oh, I like how this has gold too even though I was just complaining about the amount of silver in OG. Look at that. The back, oh, okay. We found out what this lace is for. The back has a lace up portion here, so it can be tied into a loosen. So corset lacing, yay. Um, so that extra lace, I guess, is to lace up here. Lovely. I 
I guess I should also remark on the material. It's this, um, a very smooth... I guess I should also remark on their own material. This is like, um, kind of a heavyweight, um, I don't know if it's like more broadcloth. I don't have as much experience with like suits materials, but it feels very nice. Here is the tag also so you can see up close. QR code, something that we've learned to live with quite a lot in 2020. Man, they had, QR codes had this big old dip and now they're, they're right on back. Blast from the past. Oh, I guess I should also show the hidden buttons. So the shoulder strap has these uh, hidden buttons. So you have the shorter or the longer. And um, for people who want it a lot shorter, maybe you could always use the trick of, you know, sewing on an extra button for, your, for yourself and, and doing that. Or if you need to make it even longer, you can use the trick of tying a ribbon in here and then tying that ribbon to your, to your button. So you can always try that. So yeah, I love that it already comes um, kind of adjustable. So you have that, you have button options here. Lovely. Oh, I'm sorry. this just sets the scene so well. Like, that's just like a little accessory that I was like, I don't have anything that's in this category. I'm very excited about it. What should I do next? Okay, I'll do the, um, I'll do the pants next. this baggie. I love these bags. <laughs> I should probably try to reuse them for something, but I don't know what. Again, this is an extra large because I don't trust my hips in anything OG. Um, let's just bust the seams. So we are preying upon the grace of extra large. Oh, okay, so this one also has an adjustable strap here. So there's no elastic waistband, there's just a um, lace-up portion in the back. Um, interesting. I thought it was cool online, but now in person I like these mismatch pockets are kind of like sending me like why is one a pocket and the other one's like a um shirt pocket on pants feels weird like you can still have a cool embroidery option on your like pant like pants pocket just put it put it this this way right here why would you so this is uh, a little asymmetrical but hey maybe asymmetrical is what some people like um here's the trim on the pants Ooh. There is the bottom. Very simple pants. I'm sure I can coordinate it with a lot of different stuff, so that is the good thing. I don't have too much crazy embroidery or stuff going on, but there's a lot of other pieces that I have that will be very cool accent pieces. So this is just gonna go great with everything. All right, last thing, big round of applause. We've got the Immortal Thorn shirt. And this one's a large. Um, so now we have a full Immortal Thorn set with the little pants and a shirt. So. so this is a really cute. Um, this is a really cute blouse you could use for OG or for Lolita. I love that the fun, the fun sleeves we've got here. I guess they're kind of similar to princess sleeves, but even more so, maybe somewhere between um, like wall Lolita sleeves and princess sleeves. Got some really cool details here. Look at that little guy. And then the back is kind of a normal, what you expect for the blouse. Okay, so there we go. Just the two seams down the side. This more sleeve detail. We've got a, about, uh, you know, a short sleeve length. We've got another um, lace design. So very kind of old school feeling, you know, with the 
it with the details here as well as at the end. Lovely. Love all the pin tucks. So you can see the pin tucks and lace in detail here. And the buttons are quite nice too. These look similar to another, um, like, these look similar to another blouse that I have that's like a high collar blouse. Um, but it'll be fun to have the slightly different sleeves. I mean, white blouses, a classic, you never go wrong. I mean, I feel like people used to say that white blouses were like a noob move, but honestly, uh, they work with so much and it's a good staple piece to have. I, I would never look down upon white blouses or see them as like a lower tier than colored blouses. Yeah, quite fun. Especially if you're a fan of doing things in monochrome or just black and white all the time, then yeah, you would need a lot of like white or black blouses, right? outside of, uh, you know, the coat or whatever. Haha, -ha, bat wing! <laughs> ah. I love this spooky, cute, you know, black and red pin. Oh, I recall what I got this for because, so one of my friends was selling a really cute black and red Uzukumiya. I got this initially because one of my friends was selling a really cute Uzukumiya and I was like, I need this Uzukumiya, it's at such a great value. So I got it and then I was like, oh wait, it's black and red. I don't have any specifically like black and red OG coordinates. I have the one black and red Holy Lantern. But other than that, I don't have a lot of red accessories to wear with my black items as well. So I was like, oh, I've got to get this little pin because it'll help tie um, black and red coordinates together. And especially for spooky cute season, it'll be perfect. And here is the said Usukumiya that it would coordinate with. And they're both so very precious. So yes, I feel it. I feel it coming together now. This is, this is it. <laughs> now that we're all finished unboxing, stay tuned for our finished coordinate and my review of the Immortal Thorn. Um, lookbook for 2020 <laughs> All right, the day has concluded. The lighting has changed. We're gonna open up the Immortal Thorn 2020-2021 lookbook and check everything out together. So again, Immortal Thorn is a Taobao brand that specializes in mostly OG. This is the Rose Night set. I love this jacket and all the flowers that they have in the background as well as the flowers on the outfit. I love that it comes in there's the purple as well as the white. So you have a really cool, you know, you have you can do a Shiro look or you can do purple with black. Oh my goodness, that would be quite the adventure. I know I wonder if these like trailing butt cape things come with it because that'd be a really cool accessory. But I love this cane also as an OG accessory. And you'll notice if you've seen my previous video on OG, I just I think this is a great way to pull a look together. This is the Song of Moon Night set. So we've got a more youthful looking set. I like the length of this jacket coat thing, vest. I like the length of this jacket vest and the length on the blouse adds a cool like trailing cape aspect. There's so many uh, ruffles on it. It's a very cool detail. So lots of ruffles and pin tucks and all other designs. And um, this does have oh like a silverish button on it. Interesting that this set only comes in one color. So I feel like this brand mostly has a lot of, you know, primary, um, well, sorry, not primary. I feel like this brand has a lot of white, black, and a couple of accent colors, like maybe red or purple. 
So it seems like that they usually stick with. Oh, look at this little accessory that they've got as a ring. Oh my goodness. But that's another thing I love about lookbooks. You can get a lot of other inspiration, like about accessories or about styling. And even about, like, I love the staging of this and backdrop. So I feel like that also is a huge, um, whenever I see like brands styling and um, stock photos, I'm like, sometimes that also can be a, a huge inspiration for me. Cause I'm like, it looked really great. Like this is a whole mood. Like they really bring it. Here is the Fatima Secret series. This one has clearly a more religious looking schoolboy choir boy kind of thing going for him. Uh, I do like it. I love this fun collar and like a lot of the lace embroidery. I don't know, this is very... It, it, I feel like this one speaks for itself, like it's, it's what you expect with a, you know, choir boy, cool kind of look to them. The Sea of Hope. Like some kind of Final Fantasy boy band looking, bro. Maybe. <laughs> Could it also be like some kind of clergy member? Is he like a high ranking clergy? What is he? What does he do? Is he some kind of like 1800s lawyer? But I love this very inspired looking like shirt and jacket. I love all the little details they add to like pull this look together. Like he's got this cool prop Bible and like umbrella cane. The piece itself doesn't have a lot of details to speak of, I guess. It's kind of what you, you know, your jacket plus cape plus pants. But it's put together really well, and I like the execution of it a lot. So, I would say but this piece doesn't have as many bells and whistles as some of the others. But it's just very clean, and I love it. So, I think it's uh, done pretty well. The Archery series. I love this. This but butler looking, like, cool silhouette, bias tape, you know, gloves, aesthetic. This one is really, um, quite nice. I love this blouse design too with the black simple necktie and the really cool, like, so even the blouse has a double-breasted, uh, connection here. So this blouse almost has, like, a jacket type design. It's very, uh, fancy. This look all together is very refined. It has an element of like old school, but also modernity that some of the other ones don't really feel vibe going on. Like, I feel like they get everything just right with all the details on this piece. Continuing on a high note, we have Black Feather's Cape and Eamon Diva shirt jacket thing. The Eamon Diva is very nice because it has black with red accents. So I kind of did an accent color, even though it's like, you know, maybe a little bit harder to coordinate. It's very fun. Adding those extra colors into it brings it into like the modern era more because it has, it plays a bit more with the design instead of just being like, it's a vest. Now we have different accent colors, a little bit of asymmetry going on. And this is a very cool piece. Um, I also really love this cape, like these armhole things here just seem really cool. Like you could either have it where your arms are covered more by connecting the buttons or just leave them kind of out and um, more available by unbuttoning this here. So. I love pieces that kind of feel different depending on how you arrange them. And this definitely has that. Even though these two pieces are um, not a part of full sets, so they're just little accent things you can mix and match with, I think they're really great. They really add a lot. So I'm really loving this brand. Here's another general page of other releases I have that don't have like a full fold out. This is the piece that I was exploring today. So we have the late night poems, um, cummerbund type thing, and pants that we got, um, as well as this shirt. 
the other items that they have in this booklet are very cool too. Um, ones that really stick out to me here are um, Immortal Rose. It's just so classic. It has what you expect. It has almost like the Atelier Bose kind of shape, like the traditional OG jacket, you know, that you would wear with like some long pants, maybe more EGA kind of vibe. Um, so I love that the, the variation of what they have here too. You've got some like military OG. This one I don't really approve of, some kind of like Shakespeare OG, just because of the pants really poof out and then the high collared shirt like pulls it in. It feels like a weird shape, but I'm sure that if you like this, don't don't be mad at me. I it has it's a very cool design, but something feels a little weird to me about it. Um, the fragrance of flower series, very cool. It's like a historical looking, but has um, interesting details here with the embroidery. Mafia is also a very a traditional EGA um, kind of thing going on. Traditional OG, VK. Memory Traveler. I love this. If this is a, a Doctor Who reference, but um, I guess not just in my mind. Very cool. And uh, the gray accent color really makes it pop, you know, more so than some of the just an, a straightforward design. The fancy tee gives me kind of like Sherlock mood just because it's um, a plaid printed and a different cut than the other ones. Did you enjoy the Immortal Thorn 2020-2021 lookbook? Are you going to get into OG? Are you just a Lolita and just looking at OG? Are you trying to get your partner into OG? Tell me down in the comments below. Um, let me know what kind of other OG content do you want to see more of. Thank you for watching the Toast channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned to future videos. I hope you have a nice rest of your day.